If you're not completely uncomfortable the whole hour, I'm not doing my job. I, you need to be 100% uncomfortable. My job, I gotta get you to another level of skating. I gotta put you in situations that I know you're gonna struggle. Because in that, it's in that struggle in which you're gonna get a chance to get better. So if don't get frustrated, you have to allow yourself to go through the process. There's a process to getting better. You have, if you get frustrated on stage one, you're gonna have a harder time to get to stage two. You gotta dig in, relax, and just get it done. At, at some point, you will find a level of comfort. The trick is, you gotta be comfortable when you're uncomfortable. Because you, because you feel a sense of confidence that now you're getting better. So I don't wanna see the, that this incessant pissed off mode. I wanna see you just buckle down and just get the work done, okay? a lot on feel. When I'm out on the ice, I have a plan of what, I, what it is I want to do, but the plan can always change. I, I, I adapt to my students and I make it personal. And that's what makes me a good teacher. Is I make it very, very personal and I care. I link my success directly to their success. And when you're in the business that I'm in, I, I need them to come back. I want them to come back. And so many of them are great athletes. Uh, it, it's fun to work with them. So you have to make it challenging. You have to make it uh, fast paced, but you also have to make it personal. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You gotta get those feet moving, Justin. Feet, 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 feet. Push it. Here you go, here you go, here you go. So it's 90 degrees. Come up, bang. That's what takes you up and across. Both feet are turning. Both feet are turning. Transition, transition, right there, bang. Turn on, turn on. See, I like that. That's really good. We just gotta find that on that side. They gotta That's believe that you so want that to make it be make them and better and that you're willing to do the, the work. Side. And they see me go the extra mile, I'll come in, in and I say, look, I was looking at a game and I noticed that, that you do this. No. And they're like, I think they see that. When they hear that, oh, you're looking at my game, like. Man, they realize it probably took me three hours to watch that game and pull the clips out. And then they say, like, this guy's interested. So now I got a captive audience when you do that. When you go the extra mile and then you come up with something very specific that they may not have thought about, they're, they're interested now. They're interested in what you have to say. Last time you're a little stiff here, so you got nothing to push on, right? When you, when you hit here, come around here like this, you gotta be here. Boom. Because that's what gives you that push. Both feet are stopping. You see these two marks? This is the inside foot. This is the outside foot. The out inside foot is, doesn't have enough weight on it because it's thinner than this foot. Okay? A little recklessness is good. You want, a bit, you want to be on the edge of control, a little bit on the edge of out of control because that's how you get better. If you're just comfortable all the time, you're not going to make the jumps. But that's the easy way. Let's flip over and go the other way. This is where the metal meets the road, right here. I was the video coach. I shot all the video and edited it for for the coach. So I learned the game. I learned what, you know, how to how to do that. In the process, I realized that I needed to be better skater myself because I was a goalie. It was really tough. I wasn't a very good skater at all. So I had to learn to skate. So I started to break down video to learn to skate. Like I break it down during the day 
and I would figure out, you know, what edge is he on? Where, where is his weight transfer? Fast forward, rewind, pause. And then I would go on the ice that evening and isolate those individual skills. And I'd do all my own demonstrations. So over the last 10 years, that's what I've done. So I do all my own demonstrations because that's how I got better. I might be my best client when it comes to that uh, ability, the, the skating and puck handling ability that I have now. But it's all from breaking down video. The kids would get game tape from the local cable because a lot of them were OHL players. Um, so they would get the, the lo their local uh, cable broadcast of the games and they'd send me three games. And then we worked the three games and I would um, basically profile the player uh, based on what role that they played and then we had a statistical component that went with that as well as a video that was a skill analysis component and then between the two of them we were able to address exactly what each player needed heading forward how they could best utilize both their summer and how they could uh, rework their game so that they could be more effective for next fall. Uh, I play for the Hartford Wolfpack in the American Hockey League. Daryl uh, just recently made a profile for me and uh, showed me a lot of things that I wasn't noticing uh, doing out there. And uh, you know, he, he sort of critiqued my habits and you know made a list of pros and cons and things where I could develop. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, you know to using uh, all the skills he taught me and uh, having a great, great season. Uh, I'm Adam Clendenning. I play for the U.S. National Team Development Program under 17. It starts from like sideways to going backwards. I used to give it a big C cut instead of just a short little chop and start start going backwards. I was wasting time and it kind of really stuck with me for the whole summer. Your Yachters of the OHL, most of the skiing stuff, like the no sliding stuff when you uh, stop, um, that's like just stick it. Uh, I never, never even thought of that, never even learned it. You know, I, did, I didn't realize that I missed the net a, a whole lot out there and uh, you know, I didn't realize I was getting as many shifts and as many chances to you know, um, take control of the play or, or determine where the play ends up that, uh, you know, he just brings all that sort of stuff to your attention. It makes you notice things that you wouldn't necessarily notice yourself and, you know, that it's the little little things that matter in hockey and, uh, you know, that's what Daryl hops us with and uh, hopefully, hopefully make us better players. Everyone has a label of who they are as, a, as who someone else thinks that they are. And then they have a role on the team, but the role is always relative. It's relative to what else is available on the team. On one team, you might not be a puck handling defenseman, but on another team, you might. Don't allow someone to say, on this team, you're the fifth D, so you're in this particular role, and that's all you are, when that's not necessarily true. On that team, that might be the way it is, but on another team, it might be completely different. You always have to look at, this is my role, and I will play my role, because I want to be do what's right for the team. However, I want to stretch that label out a little bit. I'm always working to improve my skill base or my effect on ice effectiveness or the trust level that the coach has in me so that as different uh, roles come available I can expand and immediately jump in those roles. Have you ever been on a team where you're a certain you're, 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 the, you're like the fifth D but then all of a sudden the third D he gets hurt and he's out yeah, for right two months. For a certain period of time someone has to fill that role. Well that's you now. Do you have the skills and have you been developing your skills to the point at which you could step in that role? And now maybe when that coach has seen you in that role, he might leave you there. Or someone from another team might view you in that role and say, wow, he does have that capacity. I haven't seen that part of him before. So now they might want to make a trade for you or you might go there in uh, free agency. Whatever the case may be, is don't allow the role that you're in limit who you think you are and who you can be. What, one thing that's really important for players to realize is that every time they step on the ice in a game, every shift is a personal commercial. It's an opportunity to, to build a brand for themselves as to who they are. Because you never know who's watching you. It's not necessarily the coach or the GM of your team that's gonna create the opportunities for you. But if you look at it like this is my brand, this is my commercial that I'm going to I'm going to display every time I step on the ice. You'll have no problem. Let's flip over and go the other way. This is where the metal meets the road right here.
If you're not completely uncomfortable the whole hour, I'm not doing my job. Uh, you need to be 100% uncomfortable. My job, I gotta get you to another level of skating. I gotta put you in situations that I know you're gonna struggle. Because in that, it's in that struggle in which you're gonna get a chance to get better.